Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm Mavki and we're playing 7 Days to Die. Now, to stay on the theme of the amusement park uh, carnival rides, I thought we'd start another one. And uh, this time I'm going to try and build a pendulum ride. Um, I didn't completely build it out of frames because uh, at some point I just didn't see the point anymore I just wanted to know if it would look okay so we're gonna do some pillars over here um, that frame that's sticking out and that one are gonna be uh, the metal uh, round thingies going across and from that we are gonna attach two arms so one on this side one on this side and down here we are going to make the um, the ride itself and welcome back, Neil. I'm on CS with Neil and uh, Athelfirth. Athelfirth. A with the... Uh, with, uh, oh, that's alright. I just started recording uh, Athelfirth. Now I did pronounce it right, right? You there? Okay, I'm talking into nothingness. Um, I, I think you got it close. <laughs> well, it's something like that. So um, we're just going to start building it and uh, we'll see if it looks okay. Um, I'm going to start off with the ride because as you can see I haven't done any prep work for that and I have no idea how it's going to look. Um, we're just basically hoping for the best. So uh, yeah, here goes. So I'm, I'm using this as a floor platform and as you can see it's already suspended from the ground so that will give it the impression that the ride is in the air. Um, it's gonna be pretty bulky, but that's because I want to place seats on it and leave room to walk on and leave room for a middle barrier and it needs to be connected on the side. So it's gonna be pretty pretty big, um, but we're gonna need the space. So as you can see, this is getting massive. Now, like I said, I haven't tried this out before, so I don't know how it's going to look. Um, we're just hoping for the best here. Now, I'm afraid if I remove that frame, the whole thing is coming down. So, let's start off with that one. And that already killed it. At least we know that this is going to support the entire arm, because if frames can hold it, the metal will as well. Now, what I want to do is take these seats and place them just like in the movie theaters. Uh, except for that one, that's going to be a little bit... Either we leave that open. I'm not really sure how this is looking, but we'll just have to deal with it for now. Right, so that's our seating area. Don't need these anymore. Now, I've made up some concrete barriers I want to place here in the middle. Just to give it a little bit of a separation. And that's that. And now we need to go up. So... I think I'll have to use these. Like I said, I haven't done it before, so I don't know how it's going to look. We're going to leave the middle one open for now. Is that going to work? I certainly hope so. That one is already misplaced, so we'll just take that one down. Reason why it's misplaced is I want to turn that way, and now it's not connecting properly. Do we have company? Don't get distracted by zombies. The reason I'm not using corners is they, those open up on the sides as well, and 
that's exactly what I don't want. So I'm just going to use that one there and stick this one on the outside. And there you go again. I'd rather have it. this one as well we can do this a three long one and that'll look better I think so now stick that one on there Top ones. Don't know if this is the correct one or the one I just placed. Yep, that's the wrong one. These are the ones I need. Right. Now it doesn't really properly connect on all three, but eh, it's something. Right, so now we've got our right basket. Now we need to connect it. I'm getting annoyed by those zombies. Where are they? As you can see, I've uh, had already had some over here. There he is. As you may remember, there used to be a shed here. I took it down and all the parts when rolling off the the side so uh, I was too lazy to clean it up but I eventually will clean it up right so going up I think we'll need those one over here one on that corner that you might have to do some in the middle as well we'll see if we need it for now we'll just put those here now I've made up this metal roof let's get my frame with me oh got him And these are very expensive blocks, so I do hope I don't screw this up. Come on, you can do it. I already checked. They do bug out from underneath, so we just might not have to look at it from underneath. that right now as I said, we might have to support this some more, um, but we're going to find out, because now it's time to put this in. Well, so far it's holding up. That looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? I'm afraid if I take this out, it's going to come down. 
but I want to do a test. See if it looks better if we use a corner. Do I have any corners? That's not a corner. Nope. Regular poles. Uh, running back to the house real quick. Sorry for this, guys. Is it in here? Oh, we've got a horde uh, over here on the inside. It's the wandering horde? Uh, yeah, but they're inside the wall already wrecking stuff. I dealt with most of them. I'll come up and check and do any repairs if uh, needed. That way you can go on with what you're doing. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Yep, those are the ones I'm looking for. Now, they do like this house apparently because they keep trashing the walls. Um. As you can see, some doors are missing, poles are missing. So, um, at first I kept patching the house up. At this point I'm just leaving the gaps for the zombies to walk through. Um, at some point I will fix it up again, but at this time I just can't be bothered. I just like building new stuff and um, I'll do maintenance some other time. Still not sure if we should have kept the, the wheel out of trussing, but... Ooh, that doesn't glitch out. Now, does it though? I want to put this next to it. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, that's the way to go. No, don't do that. Oh, thank God. That's gonna go so terribly wrong sometime. Well, now I know that the frame is not needed, I should have placed it, but better safe than sorry. Now that looks a little bit better, a little bit more structural, uh, structurally right. So I'm not going to do a staircase here because this is in motion. Um, as you probably can tell by the arm extended, so this should have been at the ground level um, when it's completely down. So, uh, yeah, no need for a staircase. Um, we're just gonna connect, well, first I'm gonna build up one of the towers, and then we can connect the arms, and it's already, well, going pretty quick. 
take that. These are the trussings for the arm. Nope. We're just gonna basically do the same supports material as this one, because I kind of like this one. It looks, well, clean. Although it's rusting, but it, it looks clean. Um, I took some calcium supplements with me because we are going to have an issue with that, just so you know. Maybe we'll put some lights on the outside, I think that'll look cool. Now if I remove that, do you think I'm going to get it on my head? Hmm. Cool. take this and hopefully don't fall flat on our face yep that's lined up I'm gonna risk it can place it while standing on it. The reason I'm doing is that we need to stretch to that side. Yep, we can now. Um, or we need to stretch, to stretch to this side when we're on that pillar, so... Now we are going down. Is that the top one? Hope so. Right, so that's one support pillar done. Now for the other side. Basically trying to go for the same technique here. One, two, three. Oh. No need to count it out. Now, 
one from the top. So one more. Okay, that's that done. Uh, now do I want to, do I have, yeah, I do have them on me. that Now, I do hope I calculated this correctly so they'll match up, otherwise we're going to have a big issue. Come on, let me jump up. So uh, now we repeat that on this side and um, apart from the decorating lights, we're set. Unless you guys think otherwise and leave a comment about what to do differently or... Why did you, didn't I just jump up here? I'm not the brightest sometimes, guys. Oops. Come on, let me place it. And there you have it. Let's clean up after ourselves. Pendulum right completed. Now, I do think 
and that's probably what you guys are gonna say, that if this thing swings down here, it's gonna hit the floor, and you're probably right. So, what I'm gonna do off camera, because that's not really interesting for you guys to look at, is dig a flowing trench in here, so the thing can come down, and that'll make it easier to pe for people to get on and off as well. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you think about the pendulum ride, if you liked it. Um, well, if you liked it, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more building, subscribe for more. And um, leave a comment on what to build next. And I'll see you in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching and see you later. Bye.